Hey guys, so now I'm going to talk about graphics and how to create graphics and different things that you can do. So I was told that you guys have wanted to potentially, like if you guys scan in a document, you wanted to only highlight certain parts of said document. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in a couple different ways that you can do that. So I just took a screenshot of an email that we got about, I think it was an 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 attempted abduction, I think. Um, so I'm just going to plop that in. So it's just a screenshot. Um, so you just click and drag it into your timeline. As you can see, that it's zoomed in a lot. So this might be review to some of you, but if not, if you double click on your clip and load it into your browser here, if you hit effect controls, you have all these options for scale, position, rotation, things like that. So you can actually scale it down so that way you only get um, a certain amount of uh, information that you want to display. Same for rotation, you can even rotate things if you want to, um, or you can move things up and down, left and right, types of things like that. Um, but what I'm going to talk about is obviously the graphic part. So first things first, um, I wanted to talk about titles. So if you go to File, New, Legacy Title, this lets you create a graphic within Premiere. Obviously, you can create a graphic in like Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and bring it into Premiere. But what we're going to talk about today is just doing everything within Premiere. So as you can see, it's opening it up. It's asking you what you want your video settings to be. It's going to match your sequence settings, so you don't have to worry about that unless you are creating graphics for different sequences, but I'm not going to get into that. So usually default settings work. And let's just call this email graphic. Hit OK. And it's going to open up this title window here. So, if you guys aren't familiar, this inner space right here, you see this little box? That is called your title safe. So, back in the day, certain TVs uh, didn't show to scale. It kind of zoomed it in a little bit. So, if things were outside of this box, the title safe, it'd get cut off. So, people say that you don't necessarily have to abide by the title safe, but that's why that you see this box. On the outside of this is your action safe. Same concept saying that you wanted your primary action to be within this box because if it gets cut off, you're not going to miss an important piece of information. And then obviously this outline is just saying anything that's on these outskirts might not be displayed. So whenever I do any titles, I usually kind of center it between my title and action safe. I don't necessarily go just within the title safe, but some people do, so it's completely up to you. So as you can see, we have a text box and you have all these different options up here, but I'm gonna use just the text. And then let's just draw a text box here. And let's just write, um, let's just say in attempted abduction was reported to the Charlottesville Police Department on October 29th, 2017 at 8.06 p.m. Okay, as you can see, this might not be the font that you want. Obviously, it's not the color that you want because you can't see it. Um, so let's look at some of the editing options. So if you select your text, you can see up here on the left, you have all of your different text options. So let's say we want to do Helvetica. And then you want it to be bold, and um, you want the size to be a little smaller. And this is just, you can drag it to the left or to the right after you click on it, or you can actually physically type it in. And then over here on the right is a couple of other options, like opacity, how uh, much transparency do you want it to have. Um, down here is your fill color, so you can pick whatever color you would like it to be, if you want it to have a drop shadow or not, um, a bunch of different options. I'm not going to go into all of them here. You also still have your um, your fonts over here and your font size if you would like to do that. Completely up to you. So I'm going to scale this down a hair. And I'm actually going to change this to Arial and take off the bold. Okay, so whenever you have your 
text uh, finalized and everything is good to go, you can go ahead and exit out of this screen. But then you come back and you're like, where did my text go? Because it's not in my timeline. It actually creates a graphic over here and you're going to have to physically drag it in. This is where your title is. So if you drag it on top, you can see that our title is right over there. So now when we double click on it, you can open it back up and you can edit it if you need to re-edit. If you spelled something wrong, you could go into it and add some text there. But if everything looks good, you can exit out and then you can position it in your uh, kind of your preview window here where you can position it to be, let's say, you wanted it to be as close as possible as up here, um, anything like that. But that's what this is for. You can even zoom it in some if you wanted to, type of thing like that. I'm going to scale it back. And then let's say that obviously you want this quote to stand out, but you're having a hard time really having it stand out from the rest of the email that you have going on. So there's a couple of things that you can do. You can double click on the email itself and open up your effects control and drop the opacity here. And then you see that, you know, you still can't see the text very well. So let's double click and then let's actually make this white text here so it really stands out and let's make this bigger. And let's make this bold, potentially. You can even, let's say that this was a direct quote that you wanted to quote. And then we're going to move it so that way it's between the title and the action save here. And then we can just say that. And then we can even center it if you really wanted to do that. As you can see, because it's already in the it's already in your timeline you don't have to click and drag it whatever you update in here is going to automatically update now something that you might notice is it's centered in here and everything looks great in our viewer but when you click out it's off centered now that's because i was playing with the position earlier so if we reset this back to what it's supposed to be I can never remember exactly what it's supposed to be, so we're just going to pretend that it's 950 by 600. Um, so it's going to be, it's going to show you and display the way that it should display. So if you mess with the position of your text, it's going to kind of get a little wonky when you are editing your text in here. So that's just something to keep in mind. So now you can see that we have a certain portion of a quote pulled out, but the email is still behind, but the quote we wanted to actually highlight is displaying right here. So that's an option that you can do. Another one, if there is a very specific part of your, uh, of like a document that you really wanted to highlight, but you didn't want to pull out a quote because it's too much and it's a lot of paragraph, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's remove our text here. And let's remove the email really quick here as well, and let's start over. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull our email in here, and then we're going to scale this down just like we did before by going by double clicking, having it load in your preview monitor, going to effect controls, and scaling it down. So next what we're going to do is we're going to hit option, click on this and drag it up and that's going to actually duplicate a clip. So all you have to do is click on the clip, hold down option, click on it, drag up. And you see you can duplicate as many times as you want, but we only want two. So what we're going to do is let's say that we want to highlight this specific part right here, a female victim. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to match these settings as close as possible. So you see how this is 960 by 736? We're going to make them both say 960 by 736. So that way they're in the exact same location. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually crop, crop an image so that way 
we're going to only crop this section that we want to talk about. So let's go to effects and type in crop, crop, and let's click and drag that on top of the very top layer here. Now what I'm going to have you guys do is if you see this eyeball here, this is kind of turning it on and off the visibility of the layer. So I'm going to turn off this bottom layer because when we crop it, I want to make sure that I'm cropping and showing just the section that I want to show. So let's double click on the top layer where is where we want to crop, go to effects, and now we should have crop in here. If you don't see that, just click on your crop effect and drop it on top. So now I'm going to crop from the bottom because I wanted to say this sentence in particular and then from the top so that way this is what I want it to see right here and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our eyeball so you're like why can you not see it why do we have it it's because this bottom layer is the exact same remember when we made a match exactly the same and because this is cropped you're really not going to see a difference but what I'm going to have you guys do is double click on this bottom layer and go to effects and un if you have this stopwatch um, selected turn that off that's a whole nother ball game that's called keyframing and that will be a very advanced video later on so if you ever see one of these on just unclick it just to avoid any potential issues down in the future and then let's drop the opacity down so do you see how the email is dimmed but the part that you really want to highlight is still here and that's something that you guys might want to do um, you might say I want to to highlight just this specific section, but I didn't want to only put this small line of text there. So that way it looks like you can see the whole email and viewers can pause it and read it if they want, but you really wanted to highlight this specific part right here. If you wanted to get really fancy, you could double click on the text and then we could even zoom this up a hair if you wanted and then shift it down. And let's just say you wanted it to be like only some of this text here and you could move it so that way it's covering the part that it's supposed to be in the email but it's zoomed in a little bit so that way your viewer can see it you can do it even more move it down move it down here if you wanted and there you go but yeah hopefully that made sense I'm hoping that that kind of covered some of the stuff that you wanted me to cover. Um, let me know if there's anything in particular that you really wanted to talk about or that I didn't talk about or if you have any more questions. But that's pretty much the basics that I wanted to go over of creating graphics. I didn't want to make it too confusing for you guys, but if it was too easy, let me know and I can do more complicated uh, types of videos. But yeah, that was a quick and dirty graphics video, so hopefully you guys find this helpful.